Yo, what's going on inside dudes? My name is Dean. Thank you so much for joining me today. So originally I was going to name this video Black Ops 3 is going to die or this game is going to die. Something to that effect. Just kind of talking about the life cycle of Call of Duty and that's how it works. Like we get the we get one year of the game and then the game's pretty much dead and people don't really play it anymore. So the reason that this came about is actually I went to go back and play Advanced Warfare. I went to go back to record some episodes for Throwback Thursday because I never really played the game and I wanted to give it a try. So I went to go play Advanced Warfare and I tried to hop into a game and the only game mode that I could get a lobby in was Team Deathmatch. I went to play Domination on Advanced Warfare and I got in a game of... I think it was like two versus one, which for some reason, Advanced Warfare, you could do that, which is just dumb in its own right. But uh, nevertheless, yeah, I, I went to go play a game and I couldn't get in it. And I started thinking about that and I was like, man, Black Ops 3 is just, it's going to die. And that's really disappointing to me because we talked about this in a previous episode, actually in a year in review, I actually already kind of talked about how I really love Black Ops 3. I thought it was a really great game. Now, if we go back and look at something like Black Ops 2, people were playing that for like four or five years just because of how bad Call of Duty was for a while there. So people were really playing that game for a long time. So my question is, is Black Ops 3 going to die? Is it going to be like Advanced Warfare? Now, one thing that I do have to mention that I think is very cool about Advanced Warfare is the team there, uh, Sledgehammer, they've actually gone through, I don't know if you guys know this, but they add new content still. They add free DLC weapons sometimes, they add, they, they still patch the game, like I know the Bell and the ASM-1 were super OP pretty much throughout the final or throughout the whole life cycle of the game rather and I know they finally got around to patching it like a little too late at this point but they still work on their game and to me that's not only very impressive but very I don't know I don't want to say rewarding but I think it's cool and my question is do you think that Treyarch will do the same thing with Black Ops 3 will we see free DLC free weapons in Black Ops 3 finally but will it not come till the end of the life cycle? Or is it going to go like the games of the past and just kind of die out? Now, getting into lobbies already in Black Ops 3 is it's pretty difficult at this point. And, and I would say like this is as dead as it's been at this point. Like it's pretty much done. Infinite Warfare Beta is coming this week and Titanfall 2 is coming this, uh, not this week, but this month. Uh, this game's pretty much dead. It, it doesn't have too much of its life cycle left. But is it really going to completely die out like Advanced Warfare? Or is it going to... I don't know. I mean, I, I keep referencing, referencing Advanced Warfare. But are they going to add things to try and keep people invested in the game? Now, there's some rumors going around that there's a fifth DLC pack, which is honestly, it's bogus. It's bullshit. It's just people trying to get some views here and there. Can't blame them because the views are so far down on Black Ops 3 content right now because of how many people are not playing the game. So... What do you guys think? As far as I'm concerned, I think we will see free weapons at some point. I think that they're going to uh, right their wrongs, if you will, eventually, but it will be too little too late. And I think they will still keep things kicking with like random double XP weekends, random double crypto key weekends. I think we might actually see more double crypto key weekends throughout the end of the life cycle than we will during than we have during the life cycle, rather, because Really, they, they want to get people invested in their game. And obviously, Treyarch is going to have a three-year gap now between their next game and this game. So what's the best way to do that, it, to keep people interested in their game, other than, you know, keeping things fresh in their most recent game? Now, we've already seen World at War come back and Black Ops come back in terms of backwards compatibility. Eventually, I think Black Ops 2 will make its way out there, too. So, really, Treyarch is doing a good job, and I don't know if it's entirely them or if it's Activision as well, but I think they're doing a pretty decent job at keeping people interested in these older games. So, why would they not do that with Black Ops 3? It's just a matter of, will the people go back to it? Now, I can honestly say, if Advanced Warfare sucks, which I, I've been 
very much pro advanced or not advanced warfare sorry if it infinite warfare sucks and i've been very pro infinite warfare i should say I, I think it'll be a good game and i've already mentioned this several times i'm not on that hate bandwagon that everybody else is but if it been infinite warfare while wow, speaking is very difficult right now <laughs> if infinite warfare struggles i won't mind going back to black ops 3 of course we will have modern warfare remastered as well to go back to which is great so I think there's a lot of Call of Duty content out there, and I'm hoping Black Ops 3 doesn't die. Let me know in the comments below. That is the end of this gameplay, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.